In this video, we will go over the steps to create a line of best fit for data. So treating the club head speed as the independent variable and distance as the dependent variable, we could go to stat, regression, simple linear to create a line of best fit. So using the club head speed um, as the x variable and distance as the y variable. Now we could do a whole bunch of other things involving this line of best fit, but I'll just keep it the way it is. Um, keeping the graph as the fitted line plot will automatically graph the line of best fit for us. So hitting compute will give us this box and let me just enlarge it. Not that. There we go. Enlarging it. Um, we have what I was saying before with the distance being the dependent variable, club head speed the independent variable, and it gives us the line of best fit on the third line here of negative 55.797 plus 3.1 7 times that club head speed, which is located on that third line here, or also with the est in the estimate column in this parameter estimates section. Um, it gives us the sample size, in this case of 8. The correlation coefficient is listed on here as well, along with the coefficient of determination. So it provides us those different um, computations. Again, gives us our estimates along with our ability to test whether or not that slope is significant. Um, it gives us the sum of square the, the sums of square errors of 49.8576 in this uh, third column second row of this table of the analysis for variance. And if we click the right arrow here, we could see that line of best fit. And in order for us to check assumptions regarding this line of best fit, if we go back to where we went before to find this line of best fit, and in that section for graphs, we could go all the way down here to the residuals versus x values. That will give us the residual plot involving the data.